Hey everyone, Jason here with Tackle Share. Today we're going to be going over topwater lures. That's where to fish them, when to fish them, and how to fish them. Let's get into it. Here we have a selection of topwater lures. So the top one here is a soft bodied frog. The hooks are hidden beside the body to prevent snagging, but when a fish bites it, the body collapses, revealing the two hooks. It's very good in heavy weeds, lily pads, and the lakes. Next we have a prop lure. It has a propeller on the back that makes a lot of noise and movement when going through when being pulled through the water. It even creates some bubbles, which is very uh, attention grabbing. And below it we have a popper, which has a concave mouth on the front that actually when you pull it through the water, a big splash comes out and it makes a loud noise, which is also very attention grabbing. Now when fishing top water, they really shine when used in shoreline cover. That's near docks, downed trees, weed patches, and the likes. Things like the soft-bodied frog are especially effective in thick weeds or lily pads where you might be worried about getting a snag. Top water is best used on calm days like this when there's not too much wind or there's no wind, as when there's a heavy wind and the water has a heavy chop to it, top water lures tend to get lost in the waves and fish don't even really notice them. Now top water lures can be fished any time of day. However, dawn and dusk, when the wind is really beginning to die down, are some of the best times to use them. And the midnight hours have proven especially active for top water hits for all you night anglers out there. So when it comes how to fish them, to fish a soft frog, you want just light little pops and twitches with your line and your rod. You don't want a steady retrieve, you don't want anything too fast. You're meant to be trying to mimic a injured frog trying to swim. That would be the most enticing for some fish. Sometimes if you get a particularly active day or the fish are really aggressive that day, fishing these a little faster can help, but for the most part, you want to twitch them and then let them sit so that the fish has a chance to identify it and strike it when it's sitting still. Prop baits can be fished a couple different ways. The most basic is a straight retrie retrieve in which you cast it out and you pull it in whether it's quick or slow. Um, the propeller makes a lot of noise so it's definitely a effective way of catching fish, particularly if they're feeling aggressive that that day. Another technique is a stop and go technique in which you pull it in for a little bit and then stop. Pull it in for a little bit and then stop. Let it. When you stop, you want to stop for a couple good seconds. Let the water settle around it, let the fish identify what they're going after, and then they'll hit it pretty hard. When fishing a popper, you want to do exactly as the name implies. Quick pops, then let it rest. So you really want that motion of the popper going through the water and picking up as much water. Get that audible pop and splash with it. And then let it rest. Let it do, let the noise attract the fish, and then let it rest so the fish has a chance to hit it. Many times when fishing topwater, anglers will see the lure start to move of a bass or a fish striking it and they will instantly jerk away and try and set the hook too early and the fish will have actually short striked it which is the fish will have hit right behind the lure where they thought it was rather than where it is hence why these short stops are very important for letting the fish acquire its target and actually hit the lure and then it's important to let the lure go down a little bit, make sure it's in the fish's mouth before you set, try and set the hook really hard. That's it for this video. Don't forget the end of the month is coming up. Be sure to send in your photos to tackleshare.com slash virtual fishing and you might have a chance to win an amazing Lucky Strike lure box that I featured earlier in an earlier video, as well as a rod and reel combo and some other little goodies. 
If you liked this video, be sure to hit like and subscribe to the channel for more fishing content. That's it for now, see you next time.